Hi everybody, I am Matteo Migliorini and in this video I talk about new Nuke. Welcome back and let's go to start with the new Lexon. So, and now here we arrive with another part. We have the Vray ZDAP and in this case I use the ZDAP for create the black part. For example, here you can see my ZDAP. And for use the ZDAP, I need to create a layer. A layer for create, in this case, from like a mask. I have the constant here, is a black constant. I apply on multiply, but I apply on all is very uh, dark, is not merging. I want merging only on some part. In the same way, you can see the difference if I apply the checker box. The checker uh, checkerboard is uh, mm, the tools you can use for is the checker. Okay. Usually, I, I use this for uh, the background when uh, I I do some uh, testing, some R and D. Okay. It's, for me, it's like uh, natural. It's like uh, a constant uh, color but I apply with multiply and I see is apply also on my image in uh, the same way from here and here you can use the zdap for create difference for example here I have a different value from here and from here okay I have the the, the gradient effect on my uh, on my merge node so for use this I need to use the shuffle copy so I can here shuffle and uh, we can see the shuffle node is for create uh, for extrapolate from your multi-channel uh, multi-channel pass from your EXR but I have also the shuffle copy. The shuffle copy, I have two input, and one is for cre um, I, I merge here, okay. One on my ZDAP pass, and one in this postage stamp. What is it, postage stamp? Uh, stamp. Postage stamp, it's you can find here under the this menu for the tools or from classic menu or from tab it's the the viewer for see what's happen here because maybe you don't uh, need from uh, connect here but you can use uh, for example i want to see what's happen here and I have this this little little previous of your image is like the read from some part of your compositing or from your layout. So I connect the second input from my multiply, but in this case I want to have the order, the first rule for composing is the order, and I connect for example from here. I can do the same way if I Take this, connect this, and create a line. Okay, it's the same. Then I need to create my path of ZDAP for use inside my merge node. For this, I go to this menu, okay, with this drop down menu, and here I can apply, for example, a different path. For example, ZDAP, but it's not my pass I want. I want to create a new pass. Create new pass and I call Jax Ajax ZDAP. Okay. Why I do this? Because I do this so, see also here, I have the same, okay. I give none here because I don't want a color, I want only the gray color. And now I can go here, 
and use like a mask. I have the layer one point zdep Ajax. And what's happen if you see the difference? Maybe it's very small, and you can say uh, is uh, my uh, ah, also I invert. Why I invert? Because if I go here and in my constant. Okay. I invert because I want uh, a few dark here. I give also the few value for have the effect of dark here. I use this uh, technique because uh, inside Vray, for example, and uh, also inside, the, I think also in Meta Ray, you can do. But with Scanline, you can use the negative light. What is it, negative light? Negative light is when you can apply one light, for example, here, one here, and one here. One is positive, another is positive, and this is negative. The negative is subtract the color from your light in sheen and respawns another color. Is a very, very good uh, kind, for example, you can do for create uh, some effect uh, of the very subtract light color from here to here. And uh, this is very nice.